What is up you guys? Welcome back to Toyota Fanatics. So I haven't had a chance to do anything T100 related the last couple days, but uh, I finally got some time right now. Uh, I just want to pull it in the driveway. I want to take the side steps off and, uh, and wash it up and just get to know it a little better. Um, but I gotta wash the Tundra. There's no way I can wash that thing without washing the Tundra. The Tundra is filthy. And then my wife said, hey, you're really gonna wash both your trucks and not wash the Sequoia. So we're gonna wash the Tundra and Sequoia real quick and then we'll pull the T100 in the driveway. Uh, I'm thinking I can get this done in about 30 seconds. All right, let's go. All right, it is finally T100 time. All right, whew, man, that was, that was a little bit of work right there. I always underestimate the size of that Sequoia. I mean, I know the Crew Max is big, but I always jump in thinking the Sequoia. I'm gonna knock it out real quick, man, whew. Anyways, uh, I think this thing looks so much better just with those mud flaps off. I've never really liked mud flaps. If you notice, Toyota for 16 it was the first time uh, on the Tacoma that they got rid of mud flaps. There's no mud flaps anymore because they suck it took a while for them to catch on but anyways uh, we're gonna wash this thing up for the first time right now but for starters let's get these side steps off right here that's what's going on let's see what kind of situation we got here just a couple bolts right there and a bunch of bolts right there all right let's see how this goes All right, so seriously, probably about three hours later, I don't know why I completely underestimated how, how hard that was gonna be. Um, I, if, you, if I was on a game show and they asked me, how long do you think to get both sides off, I would have said 10 minutes tops, both sides, 20 minutes off. I, mean, I had so many plans for this thing today and that was it. So look, at, I'm gonna show you guys all the tools that I had involved. This is all the tools and it absolutely would not have been possible without this right here. If, if you don't have a three foot breaker bar, this was, this was also essential. You know, Toyota actually gives you some, uh, some, some access holes. Um, actually, you know, I mean, it's not Toyota gives it, but there's access holes and Smitty built 25 years ago, decided to use them, but you need, you need some tools. I had to use lubricant to break it up and gloves, flashlights, I have a new creeper that I've never used before. Had to get that thing involved, but they're off. And uh, these things were frozen in place. Wow. Okay, so I think it looks so much better. Let's see if it's easier to... Uh... Uh, yeah, that's nice. I feel like all the steps I ever do is rub the back of your leg. Anyway. Side steps are off. Uh, I'm gonna wash it up real quick right now. Oh, one other thing I was gonna say is, um, so I knew when I looked up there that there's a bracket and, and I probably could have just taken this off and left this big bracket attached, but I knew, I knew right when I climbed under there, I was not gonna do that. I don't care how hard it was or what I was gonna have to do. 
I wanted to take the, the whole thing off. I don't want some weird brackets hanging down over there. So really don't like side steps. I mean, unless you need them, but I think they just, just get in the way. So yeah, I'm gonna do the first wash right now. And uh, you know, a bunch of people in the comments on that last video were kind of saying I should keep the wheels and the wheels are kind of cool and they're kind of growing on me now. I do think they're kind of cool. 15s. I was looking earlier at how much uh, room there is between the drum and the uh, wheel right there. Uh, nothing. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool right there. Because if you come over here, let's see what, what oh, yeah, a little bit of a different situation there. Anyways, yeah, the sun's going down. It's end of the day. I'm really happy we got the truck washed though. Sequoia's washed. We did get the steps off. There was a couple times in there where I didn't even think they were gonna come off. I really didn't, no. But they did, they're off. Okay, so I gotta put some tools away. I'm gonna wash this thing up. Um, normally I would just call it a night, but we got that. And I already have the hose. I already got the cars moved out there. Let's do this. All right, you guys, next day here. And uh, the truck looks good. The, the wash went very well last night. Um, when I bought it from the guy, he, he, he did just wash it recently. So it's not like it was filthy, but um, just a really good wash I did. Cleaned it up so much. I got, I got to get inside the, uh, the fender wells and clean it up. There is not one nasty spot on anywhere on the undercarriage. Nothing leaking, nothing oily. This thing just really impresses me. More and more every day. But I think it looks great. Mud flaps gone, front bug guard gone, side steps gone, sticker on the bumper gone. It's crazy. The first thing I do usually when I get vehicles instead of adding a bunch of crap is taking a bunch of crap off. Anyways, I got a bunch of other stuff I got to do today, but one thing we're going to handle right now, which is long overdue, is getting rid of the flame job down here. I feel bad because whoever did this put a lot of work into it, but you know what? Actually, we're just gonna paint over it. So the flame job continues to live on, but it's just gonna be hidden under some paint. Uh, weird thing is, is this skid plate's actually plastic, which is pretty weird. It offers almost zero protection, but I guess it helps with the aerodynamics. Maybe that's what they were, maybe that's what they were going for, but all right, so we're gonna pull this thing off and, uh, and just paint it up, get rid of that. Uh, as far as what kind of paint we're gonna use, I'm pretty bummed about this, but I only have gloss black. Um, this is perfect paint for it, even says right there, also bonds to plastic. Most spray paints are not for plastic, so that's cool, it's for plastic, but it's a bummer that it's gloss. Would have preferred some matte, but all right, let's pull that thing off and uh, Throw some paint on it. the skid plate off to the truck I, I noticed this steering stabilizer steering dampener thing up here um, I didn't know it had this it's definitely factory but look at the look at the washer and the bolt on that thing I mean it's like in incredibly brand new condition so I looked up online it looks like there was a TSB at some point on that thing so maybe it was changed out by the dealership at some point I don't understand but that's cool uh, also, when I was looking up here, I noticed that there looks like a transmission cooler attached to the radiator here, and I don't think that's factory at all. If any of you guys know anything, uh, it just looks like the fasteners holding it on aren't factory, but transmission cooler, aftermarket, what do you guys think? So 
I'm really happy with the progress so far. The truck's really cleaned up very well. Uh, we're just waiting for a bunch of stuff in the mail. We've got to get those latches and the new door handles, get those put in. And I got a bunch of stuff for the front end, grill, headlights, bunch of things coming in the mail. So right, that's going to wrap up today's video. Uh, like always, drop a like, subscribe. Uh, as soon as these packages start showing up in the mail, we can jump into a bunch of different little stuff. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.